form, it's an Armando format, which just means uh, our friend, one of the Amandas will come out here and give a monologue based on your suggestion, and then they'll do some scenes based on that. But when you get some energy up, so let's get a woo! Woo! That's pretty good. Um, let's try a little bit more, like, believability, because they wouldn't believe it back there. Woo! All right, let's try, all I'm gonna do it. Ready, three, two. Let's give it up for now hiring long form. Welcome back to me. Hi everybody, you guys didn't go anywhere. I came back. Uh, you guys ready for the long form first portion of the now hiring show? Fantastic. Uh, this will be uh, very similar. It's still improv, but now we're going to be telling stories or setting up different scenes. It'll be all montage -y. And to get us started, we're going to invite to our stage uh, uh, the most famous person of the night, Amanda. Amanda, please come in. <laughs> what Amanda's going to do is I'm going to ask you guys for a, a little prompt, and Amanda's going to uh, use that prompt to tell a story from her life, uh, her experience, uh, uh, her soul. It's going to get deep. It's going to get deep, doesn't it? Uh, and then we will, after that story's done, we'll do scenes off that, and then maybe call Amanda back out for another story, depending on how the rest of the show goes. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Uh, we kind of been playing around with the volunteering, the job stuff. What's uh, a job that you, like, either your first job or your worst job? I want to hear about one or the other. Waitressing. Sanitation uh, worker. Waitressing. Uh, what was something? Teaching? Sanitation worker. Sanitation worker. So we have teaching, waitress, uh, sanitation worker, if any of that uh, prompts the story. Or I can keep talking while you search your brain practically for it. I, let's keep saying things. Okay. Sanitation worker. Oh, no. Pizza delivery. Lifeguard. Fundraiser. Grocery bagger. Bus driver. None of these are any jobs I've had, y'all. Bank worker. Call center. Still no. Investigator, which sounds way more exciting than it is. I'm sorry to disappoint all of you. I felt that. I really felt your disappointment just now, so thanks for that. Um, I was, it was my first job out of college, and I was the reporter for this PI firm. And basically, all they did was like check their clients were insurance companies mostly who were checking on employees who filed workers comp because they would rather spend money trying to catch you in a lie than give it to you. <laughs> Yay, capitalism. <laughs> but my boss, uh, he was a character. I like to call him crazy hippie vegan man <laughs> because he was very much of the mindset that being vegan will cure all of the things in your life. And he actually took a lot of time out of our work days to encourage all of us to be vegan. <laughs> and every week we would go on a, a, like an office lunch. And if you ordered, no, it was okay if you had some like dairy or whatever. If you ordered vegetarian, he would pay for it. But if you didn't, you had to pay for it. <laughs> and it was similar with our insurance. If you uh, committed to a vegan lifestyle, you got a better insurance plan. Is that legal? Probably not. <laughs> Sounds like he should have been investigated. <laughs> but even like one day we had this doctor come in and like took the whole morning to explain about plant-based diets and it was not fun. <laughs> and this is traumatic. Does anyone have another suggestion? <laughs> Uh, what was the name of, uh, if you can say Is that allowed? I don't know. I'll say it. Yeah. it. Or just the name of the boss. Or you don't have to say the name. The name of the what? The name of the boss or the name of the company? Uh, the name of the boss was Robert Cox. Robert Cox? This is just one. I just want No, that's a funny name. Robert Cox. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what was your uh, everyday, like, your duty <laughs> as a reporter? As a non-vegan, how was your poo? No, no, no. <laughs> Because no. I use fiber. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like, 
a normal day, like what did you have to do? Uh, yeah, to great question. <laughs> Basically, that we have PIs that would go out and watch the people and survey them. And they would often take videos if they saw them doing something or just like check-ins to be like, see, I am at their house and they're not doing anything. I'm just here in my car. And um, they would take notes and we had um, someone who would transcribe them. And then my job was to put all those notes into a report that we gave to people. So a lot of them were like, uh, 12 o'clock, they have not been seen. <laughs> or sometimes like 2.37, they're chopping wood in the front yard. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Fun. They're supposed to be in a coma. What? All right, big hand for Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll just do scenes from that until we get going. Last moment. Dad, Dad, uh, Dad. I've always wanted to tell you you were my favorite little boy. Oh, really? Well, I'm your only child. It's pretty easy to be your favorite. <laughs> well, that's what, that's the joke. Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter, you won't believe this. We were looking for a, a, a body, a, a, someone to be a donor so you could live longer, and we found a long lost son you never knew you had. Whoa. I'm not the only one! Dad? Are you, are you vegan? <laughs> <laughs> sure! Dad, oh. Dad, you know it's illegal oh. to ask him that. Oh. Dad! No! I, we also so found another, this one can't don, uh, donate to you, but this one can. <laughs> I, I smoke and drink constantly, I can't, my little, oh my god, my that sounds so there. cool! But, uh, I, 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 Son. That's great. And I, I found your other. I listened to all of it. I had something I was going to tell you, but I. <laughs> <laughs> If you do things my way, things are going to go easy for you, right? Mm -hmm. So, as long as you are all Pokemon going, <laughs> you will get less uh, expensive insurance. But if I catch one of you out there Digimoning, you're paying for your own what? stuff. What, what, what about the, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? No, that is out. I just say me. All right, Turk, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Dark storylines. If you try to bring up Digimon's complex dark storylines one more time, I'm going. To, I'm not going to fire you because that would be illegal. <laughs> but you'll be working in the toilets. That will be your new office. Is in the toilets. I mean, at least the kids were in mortal danger. Oh, this guy wants to kill children. <laughs> <laughs> this guy loved child death over here. We have turf. He hates we know you're in child death over on this end. Well, Mr. Robert Cox, <laughs> I think that's not the only person who's into child death. I saw you at that playground pushing those children away so that you could keep the gym for yourself. Yes! <laughs> the playgrounds are where the, the, the gyms are. I gotta be there. And those little five-year-olds and three-year-olds come in here with their, their stupid Charmanders and try and take my gym down. Not on Robert Cox's time. I don't know. It's a bad look. It's a bad look. 47-year-old man beating up kids. Which part is it when I push them down to the ground and then I shove my finger in their face and I was like, yeah, you have Cox in your face right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You what? Know, you see, yeah, we can't say cocks in the face about children. No, they had you in the face. They had me in their face. So they had cocks in their face. I, it's me. I'm your HR manager. I can't let you say that. Cocks in children's faces. Well, I would never say cocks in children. I'm oh, sure we got him. Oh, no. <laughs> We 
you gonna pass this? No, it's still doing nothing. It's still doing nothing at three in the morning? Yes. Well, the neighbors voted a little on. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not that important. I, I don't know why they're claiming. Yeah. Oh, 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 there's movement. I sense movement. Oh, what? The other neighbors just did a telescope? Get out of it, man. He's, he's doing yoga. Okay, he's doing yoga. We got him. We got him. I swear this is it. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, his sciatica. That did oh, Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I know. That neck is moving real well. He took that. He took the brace off and everything. Look at that ass. It's jiggles. That ass jiggles. Like a jello. Oh, man. Did you want some jello, actually? Oh, oh. I'll look at him now. Look at him reaching. Yeah, he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't use my shoulder. All right, just to be clear, you want me to write into the report his ass was jiggling <laughs> like jello? Like jello I just ate. Yes. <laughs> like recently eaten jello. Like strawberry. Like strawberry recently eaten. All right, and what time was this? A little strawberry uh, with a little whipped cream. It was 3.02 a.m. 3.02 a.m., all right. Oh, my, what is he doing now? Look, look at him. He's making jello. What? He is making jello. No wonder his ass shapes like jello. It is jello. Oh man, this doctor's gonna love us. Yeah. Oh man, it's, it's just. I think not... we got enough stuff, right? Oh man, now he's drinking the jello. I never even thought of that. He's drinking it warm? Yeah, he just skipped a little stuff from using it. Oh my god, he's gonna overdose on that jello. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, oh he's, we can't let that happen. He has oh, a shit. selfie. He's, he's, he's walking by. Come on, walk out there. Well, morning there, neighbor. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's about to chop wood for my fireplace. <laughs> hey, you got you got a good ass going there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. I, I, oh, nice. I just, oh, you want, hey. you want a better picture? I do this on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I could have just done on TikTok. Oh, uh, TikTok. Yeah. You know, this is, you know, there's a lot of men that post on my stuff and say, oh, yeah, that's a real dude, that's a real masculine trait. But you know what? The real masculine trait is just caring about your friends. <laughs> is it also lying to your employer? Maybe. <laughs> now, you want me to put into your report at 3.30 a.m. you had an epiphany about what true masculinity was? <laughs> and then you cried? <laughs> sound impressive, but I assure you it's not. Billy, anything that starts off with I have to confess something to you is going to be pretty impressive. I'm going to warn you, it's going to be the most least impressive thing you've ever heard. Wow, Leroy, anytime someone tries to really uh, uh, lower the ball bar, all I know is uh, boy, this is going to be something pretty big. It's, like when the Matrix first came it's out. It's like a bar as unimpressive as it can be. That's exciting. That's like a, a trapeze artist at a, a circus dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's less impressive than that. It's much less impressive than oh, that. Oh, Billy, you're really shooting for the moon now. No, oh no, I'm shooting down into the grave. Oh, you're a vampire hunter. No, not as impressive as that. All right, Billy, what do you got? What's your confession? <sighs> Leroy, I don't know if I can confess this. Oh, you're building it back up again! I love it! I went no. ahead and I lowered my expectations! No, Leroy, Leroy! That there was a no. long pause! No, don't give in to the dramatic tension! Don't give in to that dramatic pause! pause. I... Stitch here. Uh, I watched this. It's 25 minutes. At the very end, he just he just says he drinks Jello before he refrigerates it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you're doing a service to this community by cutting out yeah. all of this clickbait bullshit. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing a service to you guys. So um, if you want to like and subscribe, my channel is over here. Um, and I will Stitch this, she goes on for 35 minutes and then just... <laughs> Craig? Oh! Whoa! What are you doing?
done, sir? Not breaking into the back of this bank. <laughs> well, good, because this isn't a bank. This is a dispensary. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Crap. It's a bank up front. You saw it. It said First National Bank up front. <laughs> yeah, but they're both green. The sign actually says First National Dank. <laughs> Sir, we should have smoke. Great, this is a bad idea. Is he gonna call the cops? Are you gonna call the cops on us, dude? Oh, do you got that shit, dude? No, that's why I'm here, trying to break into the bank. Okay, you want that grain, then? Uh, yeah, you got money? Do you want the Benjamin? <laughs> I'm trying to pay my rent. Do you want the Benjamin Dank? Do you want the the, the, the George Bush Bushington? Or the, the, okay, the, guys, I'm, I'm here. All right, I've got the explosives, and I'm ready to Scott. Bad news. <laughs> That's a D. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys knew that. I thought you knew we were going to break into the dispensary. I didn't know. I, I mean, at this point, they almost have more money than the bank, actually. <laughs> you may as well just call I mean, it cash, Whoa. too, because apparently they can't take credit cards. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? <laughs> Just like, hey, I'm, I'm going to join in the fun and, uh, uh -huh. and just uh, go ahead. And, uh, uh, All right, here's one menu. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right. And yeah, so, look that up. And so I was just, uh, I was taking down the gym. I was just, I'm going to join out there and get in the fun. And then you know, all these third graders and fourth graders are like, ha ha, uh, uh, you're, you're Team Yellow, and that's the stupidest thing ever. Team Instinct, and we're all, oh, we're Team Valor. And then I was like, hey, and normally I would just yell in their face, uh, 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 hey. You got cocks in your face. <laughs> yeah, so the, my last date, the guy wouldn't shut the hell up about Pokemon and deep Digimon and cocks in his face. Menu? Menu. <laughs> <laughs> it looks familiar. Yes. Oh, well, I see. I believe you're just suffering from an attachment syndrome. Uh, you just have uh, no attachments. Yeah, and so, like... Ever since my mom died, I've, I've just been feeling really lost. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, we Minion? care. Thank you. It's like you just care for somebody for so long. And I'm it's sorry, like sir. You. you can't run your therapist practice at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's like HIPAA violations and I, I, stuff. No, we're just really good friends. Like, yeah. like really good You must read the sign. It's Starbuds. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, let's get Amanda back up here. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, you want to ask for your own ask? Well, just tell us if I let you up. Sure. Um, before we do that, I have a PSA about TikTok. <laughs> Nobody? Oh. Okay, his thing is that he's hot and he splits wood, and you should definitely follow him. <laughs> so, did you get it? I didn't know what his name was. Oh, but. he's great. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> Just a shout out for Thor Bradley? Yeah, okay. he's hot. He has a tutorial about taking your belt off with one hand. Because <laughs> you know, if you need to like do a tourniquet or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last time we talked about first or worst jobs, uh, let's talk about dream jobs. 
Like people start yelling out like a, a pilot. Only janitors. Only fans. Pilots. Only fans. What? What was over here? Somebody said something. What was it? You're ashamed now. Only fans. Only fans. Everybody wants you. Everybody wants you to tell your very true story. My very true story about only fans. She just did. Thor. <laughs> Sometimes he's shirtless, you guys. He apparently like sells a candle that smells like manly and stuff. And I'm like, should I buy that? Maybe. <laughs> now, has that messed with your uh, FYP? Or, uh, uh, Are you asking if I get more hot guys yeah, putting wood on my FYP? Just tons of like just uh, lumberjack I mean, there's stuff a, there. There's a not weird amount. <laughs> <laughs> On percentage, what percentage is lumberjack TikTok on your uh, right 69. Now? <laughs> <laughs> I embarrassed myself in front of my kids the other day. I'll jam. I went to give them a whooping because I am from a generation that uh, you, you're going to spank your kids and you're going to do it with a belt. And I, if, if I didn't get stuck trying to take my belt off for 15 <laughs> minutes, I just could not figure it out. They were laughing. By the time I got my belt off, I didn't remember Jim. what I was angry about. Jim. Yeah, yeah. Did you take my advice? Wear uh, uh, suspenders? No, I, they, they pull at my groins. <laughs> Well, no, it's just, what kind of hoodie you holding up? It just grabs at my pants and lifts my pants up, and then I feel it in my groin area, which is the perfectly average, nice amount of wood in there. <laughs> that makes sense. But getting back to my original point. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. I, sorry, I wanted to confide in you that I'm a bad dad. <laughs> Look, I'm there with you, dude. I like using a sandal. <laughs> Sexually? My name's Amanda. The <laughs> sandal gets you action like that? What can I say? It's not just my children I like to be smacked with them. I'm Rosie. <laughs> they know to write their number on a sandal and then put the sandal in your back. Well, how do you think I keep their numbers? Rosie's a hoe. <laughs> I think I'll get both of them if I keep this up. Well, that just don't seem natural. We're out here in the great outdoors chopping down trees, the most natural thing ever, being haunted by the spirit of a tree. <laughs> that just looks at us in judgment, but can't speak because of spirits and trees. <laughs> Chop it down. I was under the impression this tree died from being chopped down. Are you saying you did something else to this tree? Well, I mean, did you. You chopped me. <laughs> Fine. I cheated on my wife with the tree. <laughs> and that tree, too. Yeah, so this is a candle made of my manly, musky scent. Do you want to smell Yeah, let me I thought we were bringing candles out to share with each other. Yeah, you smell it. Man, that is... That does smell like your manly, musky scent. It's just my sweat. Oh, I this... channel it down to my earwax, and then I make a little candle out of it. Oh, that's so great. I brought a candle that smells like my parents' disappointment. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Smells like them just yelling at me to get out of the basement. Hey guys, uh, I've finally got my uh, candle all ready. It, it smells like... Uh, smells like puberty. Oh. It does smell like puberty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I've been working on this for years, guys. That's rough. You're gonna chafe if you work on puberty that long. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that to yourself. 
I think if you smell that again, you might die. I think it might be too much. It's too too mas- musky. It's too manly. manly. It's manly, but also 13 year old boy. It's <laughs> weird. It's very gross. Go smell this. That's just, that's just chloroform. <laughs> Cheeks are getting clapped and icy. (laughs) (laughs) So, the plot of this movie, have you ever seen it? Two people get into a fight, and then they're going on a bank heist. There's subway surfers next to me. And while they're on the bank heist, they they get caught by the police, and only one of them. Slide. <laughs> and so, if you look here, you can see uh, that because of the uh, uh, it's the thirteenth time she's won, uh, uh, you know, this music award. Uh, that everybody was expecting that it was either going to be an Slide. album release. <laughs> And that's why I think that they are controlling everything. And so whenever you leave the red to like, subscribe. If this is coming across your For You page, that means that I was sent here. You probably have a friend who's thinking about you. You haven't checked on a long time. Oh, one of my tarot cards flew out. Wow, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Let me look at, oh, it's death reversed. You might think, oh, death, that's scary, but don't worry, it's reversed. That means that you're going to have a new, new blooms and blooming things in your life. And, and you're going to have new experiences, and new people are going to come Oh, to wow, you. There's, he has a video of angel numbers. Yeah, 9-11 was an angel number. Hey, I can't show you what I really do on TikTok, but if you follow me over to my For You page, then we can really start talking about candles, Lumberjacks and feet stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm direct messaging. This guy. All right, Jenny. Hey. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ready for this video? Yeah, I'm so ready. Okay. You lead. I'll follow. So, yeah, this is our only fast video. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. We need to pay for college, so. There's Hi, only guys. one way to do it. Uh oh, they want to see you eat. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, eat a hot dog. I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs. So, what are all hot dogs? Okay. So, uh, let's go to Costco. Hey, hey, put some mustard on that hot dog. Okay. 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 Here's your hot dogs. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Patty. Hey, hey, ask that person to watch you eat a hot dog. I keep mustard in my pocket. Hey, will you watch me do this? Hey, get some sauerkraut. Oh, okay, can you get us some sour? Oh, yeah, I'll be right back. I keep sauerkraut in my pocket. Oh, that's <laughs> always the fresh one. Don't forget my tums. Oh. <laughs> Crush those tums up and put them on the... Br- 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 I got the tums, tums in my pocket. Hold on. They're even stuttering by text. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to type with one hand. He has an anime profile pic. Of course he's stuttering. Hey, eat that hot dog sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Like or a is taco, it soup? Really. <laughs> I don't think this is worth my social studies degree. Shut up and eat it. <laughs> Thank you so much.